Okay, good morning class. So at this uh, point we're looking at algebra, algebra, algebraic expressions. We have marked our homework from exercise 1.4. Correct. So now we're looking at the example on page 9. Okay, example on page 9. And this example is for exercise 1.5. Okay. Okay, so uh, the sum says simplify. How many terms are there? Two terms. Okay. What separates terms? Plus and minus signs. So before I can add like terms or that, that uh, sort, we first need to simplify our terms. Not so. We need to get rid of the brackets. So you're looking at the first term, what can be done here? Sorry? We multiply the bracket up. Right? So we can multiply the first and the last. Do I have to multiply the middle terms? No, why? Because we have a quantity p. They look the same, but one is plus and one is minus. That's the only difference. Okay? If you're looking at the second term, the same thing here. You can multiply the first and the last. Okay? But if you're going to multiply the whole foil story out, there's no problem. Okay? So what's 2x times 2x? 4x squared. What is 2x times negative y? Negative 2. No. Negative. Sorry, man. What did I say? No. Y times negative y. Negative y squared. I don't have to multiply 2x by y. Minus. Which is that minus thing? Okay. So what's x times x? x squared. What's negative 3y times positive 3y? Negative, negative 9y squared. You all agree with that? Yes. Must be a bracket, yes. Why must there be a bracket? More than one term following a negative sign. So you must have a bracket. Yes. What needs to be done now? Get rid of the brackets by multiplying the negative in. That's going to give you 4x squared minus y squared. Negative times x squared, negative x squared. Negative times negative y, 9y squared, positive 9y. If there's nothing here, there's a 1, eh? don't forget. So now we're going to look at like terms. Not so. 4x squared is a like term to negative x squared. Negative y squared with positive 9y squared. So 4x squared minus x squared is going to give us 3x squared. Minus 1y squared plus 9y squared is going to give you positive 8y. You all understand? So I'm going to give you a sum out of the textbook to do. And then I will do that as part of the examples as well. I'm going to uh, pause the video at this point. Okay. This is out of exercise 1.5d. So what do we have to do first? The binomial square. Not so. So I take the first term and I square it. So what do we get? 4, 8 squared. For the middle term, what do we do? First term times, second term times, 2. Which gives us 2, 8 times negative 3, B times 2 is going to give you negative 
12 AB. Not so? And then negative 3B all squared is going to give us positive 9. You all agree with that? Who's confused there? You all understand? Then we must multiply the negative 3A in. Not so? So negative 3A times A is negative 3A squared. Negative 3A times negative B positive 3A. What are we going to do now? Like terms. So 4A squared is a like term to negative 3A squared. Negative 12AB is a like term to 3AB. And 9AB and 29B squared is always out. So 4A squared minus 3A squared A squared. Negative 12AB plus 3AB. Negative 9AB. And then plus 9B. Okay. You all understand? Yes, Michael? Where did you go wrong? You wrote the brackets out twice, yes? Which bracket do you write out twice? The first one. Right here? Okay. So what did you write? You wrote 2a minus 3b. And you got 2a minus 3b. Minus 3a into a minus b. Right? Read your next line you have. Yes. Plus 9b squared. Is that all you wrote? But remember, is this a conjugate P? Is 1 plus 1 minus here? Is that the case? No. So what you did was you multiplied the first and the last. And you got this here. Can you see? You're supposed to have multiplied that out there and this out there. Then you would have gotten the, uh, the correct answer. Okay, yes, Michael? You made the same mistake. Okay, so watch out for that. The only time you can multiply the first and the last is when you got a conjugate pair, which is one is plus and one is minus. One is minus one. That's the only time. Okay? So watch out for that mistake. It's a common made mistake. Anybody else? Okay. So if you had written it out twice, then you would have said 2a times 3b will be positive 6ab. Uh, this was also plus, no? no sorry, both, both, both minus. So let me just, uh, that was minus and this was minus, yeah? So it should have been 4a squared minus. 6ab minus 6ab plus 9b squared minus uh, 3a squared minus um, 3ab plus 3ab. Sorry. And again, like terms. So that's going to give us um, a squared minus 6 minus 6 minus 12 plus 3 is negative 9ab plus 9b. Okay, so if you're writing it out twice and multiplying out, there's no problem with it, provided you apply the rate. Yes. Is it the same? Yes, the same answer. Okay. But you see, it's an extra step involved in this method here. Okay. But if you're comfortable using that method, no problem. Okay. You guys understand? Yes. All right. So for the rest of the I'm going to give you a chance to complete exercise 1.5. I'll call you up at a to make sure that you understand what you're doing.